Hello and welcome to West Country Wanderings. Welcome to one in my short bite photography series. I'm here in the city of the Bath. That there is the Kennet and Avon Canal, which we've covered a few times. We will be covering again in one of my canal series. Today's photography short bite video is a little bit different though. Usually we associate Bath with high definition, ultra technicolor images. That's not what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be doing some grainy black and white images. Now I appreciate this isn't for everyone. So if that doesn't interest you, please don't worry. There'll be another video along in the not too distant future. But today I just wanted a thought from an artistic professor, just have a look at what you can do grainy black and white shots. This is all done in camera. So it's no post-production editing of these, not done in Photoshop or anything like that. I've got a setting on my camera, grainy black and white. So I've just been looking at the compositions, some different areas of Bath as well. So I'm here at Whitcomb at the moment on the Kennet and Avon. I'm gonna go up Lincoln Hill and there's a viewpoint over there. See if I can get some shots up there, see what that turns out like. And uh, well, I don't know, I've no idea what, how this is gonna turn out. Please let your know, thoughts in the comments below. Thought I'd just try something a little bit different here on the channel. So here we go.
please let me know what you thought of that. That was like sightings are different. Before I go and say goodbye though, when I was walking through, we'd come here just now, there was a swan in the centre of the roundabout causing absolute traffic carnage because he was holding up the traffic from all directions. And I took a photo, or a couple of photos so you can see that. I'll just include that now. Oh, if you're just interested in the technical aspects today, so I've just been using my 32 millimeter standard prime lens, f1.4 lens, fixed, obviously, focal length is equivalent to a 50 millimeter thereabouts uh, for a full frame camera. So that's what we've been using today. As I say, it's the uh, setting that's in my Canon camera. Lots of Canon cameras, indeed other cameras, have these called art settings and it's just a grainy black and white one it saves you going to the trouble of doing editing every single photo with that effect which can take a little bit of time in that post-production so uh, that's what I use today so please let me know your thoughts if you've I'd also like to know if you've tried anything yourself like that you can also share them on my Facebook group it doesn't have to be arty ones you can hide on there so if you want to go on to West Country Wanderings on Facebook request to join go on there you can share your own images from anywhere across the wider West Country Wanderings region uh, if you've done so many arty shots as well love to see those but uh, anything that you've done across wider West Country until next time West Country Wanderings take care of yourselves look out for yourselves and I hope to see you on the channel again very very soon all the best for now cheers goodbye